Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Elisa's Eats and today in honour of Flavia's birthday I am going to be making her a giant cupcake and then a cupcake family and it's a really cool recipe, it takes a while but it's really fun and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so for the cakes you're going to need 225 grams of soft unsalted butter, two eggs, four teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt, two cups of caster sugar, three and a half cups of plain flour, one and a half cups of milk, four tablespoons of vegetable oil, about three teaspoons of vanilla bean paste and some strawberry essence, about two teaspoons. So what you're going to need for the buttercream icing is 225 grams of soft unsalted butter, six cups of icing sugar, five tablespoons of milk, and some pink food coloring. I use gel because it's a really potent color. So for the giant cupcake, you're going to need this giant cupcake mold from Wilton. It's a two and a half cup of batter for the top part and three and a half cups of batter for the bottom part. And then for the rest of the cupcake family, you're going to need a regular muffin tray and a mini muffin tray. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to beat our butter until it's light and fluffy, then add our sugar. Make sure to scrape down the sides. Then add the sugar and continue to mix. So when your butter and sugar is incorporated, we're going to add the vanilla bean paste and the strawberry essence. Then add the two eggs and continue to beat. What we're going to do next is we're going to put our salt and baking powder into our plain flour and whisk it together so there's no more lumps. Now we're going to alternate adding the flour and the milk. We're going to do about a third at a time. and then add your vegetable oil. Now mine is non-stick, but I'll show you what you do in case yours isn't or you're worried it's gonna stick. You just get some canola oil with a pastry bucket brush and put it all around and then dust it with some plain flour. So we're going to put three and a half cups of batter into the base, two and a half in the top, then we're going to line one muffin tin with a paper liner, and then a mini muffin tin with a paper liner. and put one quarter cup of batter into the normal muffin tin, two teaspoons in the baby one. Okay, if you've got some leftover batter, make some more of the small cupcakes. And with the big one, we're gonna put it in an oven preheated at 180 degrees Celsius for about 40 minutes, then put it down to about 160 degrees Celsius uh, for the remaining 20, so an hour in total. And for the regular size, they're going to be in there for about 18 minutes, and the baby ones about 11 minutes. Okay, now that our cake's out of the 
oven. It's been about half an hour just cooling in the tin. It's still a bit warm, so we're going to put it on here to cool completely. Leave it for about another half an hour to an hour until it's completely cool. So now that our giant cake is cooling, we're going to make our buttercream icing. So put your softened butter in the mixer, then add a little bit of your icing sugar, then some milk until you use it all up in alternating batches. And then add your vanilla bean paste. Okay, so now what we're going to do is going to put some buttercream icing on the base of our cake board or plate. Then we're going to put the base on and then top it with icing and then put the top on that to form the cupcake. cut some of the bottom or the top of the cake off so that they fit better but I'm leaving it because it's cute um, and then we're just going to put a crumb layer of icing all around the cake so that it comes completely white this makes it easier to ice later without the crumbs going everywhere I'm using a cake spatula if you want to you can also just use a knife You don't have to use your fingers, but it's the easiest way to do it, so just make sure you wash your hands. Don't worry if the bottom isn't the cleanest, we're going to pipe around there. To represent the patty pan of the cupcake, we're just going to do up motions with our little knife. Okay, so now that our cake is covered with the crumb layer, we're going to coat the top and the rim of the cake. And we're going to do that with alternating colours of pink, so it's going to be kind of a gradient. So we're going to first start off with the darkest pink. First we'll colour our darkest pink and then put it in a piping bag and then pack it. So for the top part of the cake, in a piping bag, we've got a large round nozzle. This is going to be for the top part of the cake. And then just fill it with your dark pink icing. You put a little circle on the cupcake and then with your cake spatula, you slide it across so it looks kind of like a petal. And then here, when it, where it finishes, you just put another one. And then smooth it again. So with still, we've got the darkest pink. We're going to put a layer of white icing on our normal cupcake and our mini cupcake. And then put the dark icing around the edges like we did with this one, with a smaller nozzle. Then use your butter knife to squish it across. Okay, with the remaining dark icing, we're going to use a star tip piping bag to go around the base. Down, press, and up. bowl that had our dark mixture in and then add some more of the white icing to it. Then with the remaining white icing we're going to do the same to the normal cupcake and the mini cupcake. Okay, 
Okay, now we just add some more white icing to the pink and then make a lighter pink to go on top. white icing, just make sure to leave a tiny bit of white icing for the last little dollop on top. Okay, and then finally we're going to just put a white dollop on top of the cake and the little ones as well, and then we're all finished. Okay guys, so that's how I make my giant cupcake and my cupcake little family. It's really adorable, it's really delicious and I really hope Flavia likes it, and she's right there, so maybe she'll show you if she likes it. Flavia. Happy. <gasps> it's beautiful! <laughs> she was so surprised. I had no idea. This That's is happening. happening. <laughs> we're not going to actually eat it now because we're taking it to a party, but we'll show you then. So, yas. Yas. Let's go. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If there's anything you want me to cook for you next time, just comment in the section below. And I'll see you next time.